Man of War. Abomination. Hey everybody, I'm okay, this is Cigar Vlog. So, Man of War is a brand put up by AJ Fernandez, kind of like Diesel, and, um, well, AJ Fernandez. But, uh, the Abomination is probably the newest that I'm aware of in the Man of War line. <laughs> and so he also puts out the uh, Ave Maria line, and I think they're a little overpriced for what they are. They're not bad, but, you know, just, yeah, Not worth the money. Man of War, on the other hand, typically is. So as far as what this is supposed to taste like, I don't know. I usually never like to know what they taste like before I go in because that is going to, if I'm not careful, have an influence on my review. So I like to go in and know as little as possible and just tell what is exactly there. And let's see if I can scorch the shit out of this. Like usual. <laughs> Okay, so you're on. Ooh. I nudged the uh, mount that uh, my camera's sitting on. Well, I said scorch the shit out of it. I didn't mean literally. Come on. Okay, I got it. Ooh, that's a hot lighter. Okey-doke. Hmm. Clean the bag, I'll touch it earthy. I want to say cocoa. Yeah, cocoa coffee, kind of that mocha kind of thing. Hmm. Interesting start. Well, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can clean up my light a little bit because for some reason this one just kind of wants to be stubborn. So hopefully Abomination isn't uh, a moniker of what this is going to turn out to be. Anyway, I'll get back to you the first inch. Okay, so let's get up for fried food. <laughs> Alright, so go for fried inch in. Flavors are... A little spicy. Occasionally a uh, very noticeable sweet note. Not any particular sweet, just a sweet something that I thought might have been a cocoa ish, but it's kind of a little more nuanced than that. Which I'm about to get run over by a bicyclist. <sighs> I haven't actually been quite able to definitively put down any specific flavor other than there's some spice, there's some sweet. I'm gonna go with the dark coffee. Maybe a touch of cocoa. Retro hills make me think kind of an earthy coffee. Oh, anyway. This one's turning out to be uh, somewhat interesting. And honestly, from AJ Fernandez, no matter what, I would not expect anything less than interesting. So, seeing as how this band is a little on the loose side, I'm gonna see if I can quick get that off of there without uh, destroying the wrapper and give an update at the halfway point. All right, so the ash just went. Figured this is as good a halfway point as any. This one is complex. Um, to the point where I think everybody's gonna have kind of a slightly different experience. Basically, what I've been getting off of this is a little spicy, a little sweet, a little bitter. A little flowery, you know, looks something kind of floral. Uh, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of cocoa, and I think I already mentioned there was something a slight, there was a slight bitterness at one point. But so far, those are probably the, big, the, the uh, biggest flavors I'm getting out of this. Spice, sweet, coffee, cocoa, and a little bitter with a cute, occasionally a floral note. Roger Hill kind of does the same thing. So Retro Hill seems to have almost a campfire smokiness to it. 
a puff of smoke went straight up my nose. <laughs> Which kind of emphasizes that kind of campfire smokiness. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> drink pairings, I'm going to say either a very smoke-heavy or peat-heavy scotch. <laughs> or a very, very dark espresso. Anyway, like I said, so far this one is complex to the point where I think everybody's going to have something different depending on how your tongue's skewed. Somebody's going to stand out more or possibly less depending on what your particular taste is. So that said, I'm going to go ahead and smoke this down to the nub. I like how you can see all the little oily bumps in the wrapper there. That's nice. Good quality wrapper. Obviously construction's top notch. Seems to have a huge double cap. I keep meaning to talk about construction, but uh, unless something really, really stands out as being kind of crap, then <clears throat> you can just kind of assume that well, it's constructed just fine. As you can see, it seems to be burning relatively decently, despite my far light. But uh, yeah, it's like I keep forgetting to talk about construction because most cigars just are well made and nothing particularly stands out unless it does. Anyway, I'm going to go and get this done up and wrapped up. Okie doke. This looks like a pretty good nub to wrap up on. So, I've noticed, past the halfway point, the kind of coffee, cocoa notes kind of die down a little bit, and you get a little bit more of that floral note. The spice stays pretty consistent throughout the entire thing. And after the halfway, you get a little bit more bitter and a little bit more floral. That yeah, retrohale stays pretty much the same. It's got that kind of campfire smoky thing going on to it. So, starts off pretty mellow. Develops a little bit of spiciness. Cocoa, coffee, like espresso, dark espresso coffee. A little sweet, a little bitter, occasionally floral, campfire smoky. It's like I keep saying, there's a lot going on in this cigar. So far, I'm not entirely too sure why they uh, call it an abomination. <laughs> because it's anything but. It's actually quite nice. I will say that there's a little bit of foot smoke coming off of this, so uh, you probably don't want to smoke this in a car. <laughs> That's it, though. Hot afternoon. A cold glass of whiskey. That'd be a uh, recipe for a good conversation. Anyway, this going to be reasonably relatively reasonably priced. They're a little bit uh, on the higher end of the boutique brands. Basically most uh, Man of War stuff, if you actually get a box of it, that's going to be a triple digit price tag. Uh, pretty much regardless of where you go. I think. I don't usually price uh, full boxes because I'm leery of, you know, expensive stuff. But if you can get a five pack, by all means, give them a shot. These are definitely worth it. Or if it's... Uh, not too dear, not too dear of a price for you. By all means, get a box. Anyway, it's like I keep saying. I'm pretty sure everybody that tries these is going to find something a little bit more prominent, or maybe something completely different from what I found. Because this, like I said, there's a lot going on in this. Anyway, not have much else to say other than definitely check them out. Other than that, that's pretty much all I got. So if you like this review, or you have a new like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you had a different experience. There's always a motorcycle. I'm not sure if he's the one backfiring, but... Anyway. <laughs> Last little note here, uh, check out my Twitch stream. Sunday to Friday night, it's 10pm to 2am. You'd think I would remember my schedule by now. <laughs> if you don't make a live broadcast, they will eventually show up on the VOD channel, which I will eventually get around to throwing links to uh, somewhere on my page. Anyway. <sighs> I got a little bit of maintenance to take care of. So, that's pretty much all I got for this one. I'll see you next time.